So Fair Frame has come to an end with episode 12, and as someone who's been very excited about this show since the first episode dropped, I claimed it to be amazing from episode 1. Episode 12 ends in a way that either is going to transition into a season 2 if we get it, and have it be absolutely incredible, because this is the most sequel bait, go read the light novel, go watch the second season ending if it's there, you could imagine. The thing is, is it's not guaranteed we get a season two. And if it's, if this is how it leaves off, it would feel like wasted potential, you know? Walking into episode 12, I thought to myself, if we never got a season two, I kind of feel like if they just kind of leave it a little more open-ended, I, I could be good with how it could potentially end. But seeing the tease of the witch, seeing the tease of the class and the elimination of, I think they said 2C, there's so much here. Luckily, it's an isekai, so it's very possible we will see a season 2 more than we won't. But there is that worry, because so many things do get that season 2 announcement, like, right away. So when you don't get it, and you see such a go-read-the-source-material ending, you do wonder, do we just deal with a waste of potential ending, or are they gonna deliver that season 2? Only time will tell, and of course, if season 2's already been announced by the time you watch this video, whenever that is, this worry goes away, but... As it stands, it's always a little frustrating when you see something so sequel baity, and there's no current announcement for more. Now, of course, I have full live reactions to all these wonderful Failure Frame episodes over on Patreon. If you want to see my full good thoughts, they're over there exclusively. So, kind of what I expected, but also not what I expected for the episode. In terms of our boys surviving, probably going up against one last thing, more or less what I expected. Eve surviving, said it last week, she's been having death flags the past couple of episodes, but I figured if she was going to die, they would have at least committed to stabbing her. She survives, actually pretty pleasant experience, and she comes in and not really saves our boy's life, because I think he would have survived that even if she wasn't there, but did get his ass out of there. I think, you know what, I will say, Eve did save his life because he was pretty much ready to pass out, and even that thing that she ended up slicing he would have passed out and more things would have come for him. So I'll say it. Eve did save him, but you know, her being like my liege, just very cute moment overall. But man, the witch stuff has me excited. Not only did they give the witch a dark elf design, which is the best elf if you ask me. Dark elves are just, if you are playing an RPG and you have a character creator and you're going for an elven lion, I don't care if the video game gives dark elf a goddamn 50% extra damage applied to you stat. I'm picking the dark elf every time beautiful design and honestly i was expecting more of when we found the the witch it'd be a hut in the middle of the woods right yeah maybe magical barriers some protection stuff sure we go into a complete it's like an isekai upon an isekai like we went to a different world it felt like and honestly our boy was ready like he was doing the it's like his signature like i'm ready to kill a fool she's similar she can give me how i can get revenge on the god is like my boy's thirsty and for that alone i need a season two Though I think the thing I'm most interested in with Season 2 is actually the class stuff about the elimination in terms of, you know, if they were there, uh, that girl would have ended up dead for sure. It's just, there's a lot of, like, the way the goddess is and who you can trust, who's working with the there's just so much there as a story. And as I've compared a couple of times, while it's different, but it still has that similar kind of structure as something like a Soma Spider So What? in terms of having, well, in that show, the human side, as well as the spider side. In this case, they're all technically humans, but, you know, they're separated in such that you get almost two different stories happening simultaneously without them completely overlapping with the other. Um, just in this case, there's an, a time discrepancy. I love the idea of what they did with the episode, even though I would claim this is farthest from being the best or strongest episode of the season. I think one of the better parts was definitely the growing relationship between our central two. Now, something I mentioned, I think maybe a little less than a month ago on the channel is that I, for as little time as they've had to grow with each other, I legitimately feel like the bond between our central two has actually flourished in a way that I can understand the relationship forming. And for a character like Toka, his main quest is, I'm gonna go kill a goddess. Ciaris is over here being like secretly in love, and while he knows very clearly that her feelings are there, if she's not admitting to them out loud, we can almost keep the charade going, and we can continue to allow this to happen. But once those feelings are kind of announced out loud, that's when I feel like he would truly pull back and, you know, 
potentially things could get a little messy. Because right now, his mission is simply killing the goddess, and there's nothing else. If you want to aid in him doing that, excellent. But if you're going to get in the way, distractions are going to cause him to die. And he has no room for failure when going up against someone who currently is the one person in this world that he has no effect on, at least at face value, based on when he tried to use his skills at the start. He is a lot stronger now. I think he's level 2019, which I think, I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty sure the next strongest human that we've seen in the groups of uh, classmates is probably like low hundreds, if we're being honest. Um, ain't no one doing what he's doing. And you have to admit, when he killed that giant monstrosity, it looked like a giant face that as it kills beasts, it adds it to its body. It's like Relinquish Man from Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just like as it consumes stuff, it just adds to its design. It's just very creepy. To be at level 2017 and level up two times from the EXP, you have to imagine that's the amount of XP that would have gained you 50 levels at the start of a video game. Like, that's a lot. Like, that thing, that thing was hefty. Overall, though, I think if people were to complain about the visuals of the show, both on 3D, inconsistencies, like, look at this episode. The 3D that was there, totally acceptable, it's like I've been saying. But if you look at Eve as an example, her character model was all over the place. You can nitpick visuals about this show, and honestly, sometimes it's not even nitpicking, it's just pointing out the blatant obvious facts that sometimes this show just ain't it visually. But as I say about shows, like, if you hook me in with the story and characters, I'm more forgiving for BS visuals, but if you're mediocre, like, with characters or narrative, and you have mediocre visuals, then there's not a lot of reason to keep watching. I enjoyed this one. I wouldn't say it lived up to my initial expectations in the first few episodes, but it still remained good all the way to the end, and I am crossing my fingers for a season two, because with how they ended this episode to not have a season two someday would just make this a missed opportunity. There's no other way to put it. There's a lot of times shows get one season, and I leave it, and I would say, hey, there's still a lot left to explore, but the way they ended, I can kind of move on with my life. This is one that, like, they don't give me a season two. A, a part of me is going to be very sad. I'll move on. There's a lot of anime, I'm gonna consume more, there's always more isekai, but I will be very sad. So, uh, yeah, you know, spread the word, we want season 2 of Failure Frame, and for those who don't, well, why the hell did you finish season 1? That's my question. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of, uh, the final episode, and maybe the season overall. What are you thinking, best moment, worst moment? Let me know. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here, of course, ring that bell, and like I mentioned, full live reactions over on Patreon, and hey, why you over there, I'll also give you a video shout out. Alright, so today we got Nano Dog. Jmons, 9173, Durhosh, Franklin Greenway, Hikari Lounge, Fletchbringer, Solagki, and we also have Void. So I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care. Y'all have a good one.